Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. We're in my bathroom, so you know we're doing a makeup video, plus it's the title of the video. But I am so excited. We're just trying out literally a ton of new products. I just counted, I think it's almost 30 products, like 25, 26. I kind of lost count. This is a combination of stuff from my Ipsy unboxing that I just did for this month, and then some of the products from my advent calendar if you watch vlogmas i had a big giant like makeup beauty like skincare advent calendar so it's some stuff from that that i haven't tried out and then i have a couple kind of like pr type products i got a little package from ali you it is freaking adorable first of all look at this little package it's just so cute these packing peanuts apparently dissolve in water so you don't even have to like throw them away or recycle them you can just melt them in the water and this brand is just so so adorable so i'm really excited to show y'all a couple of products from them this is amazing you will see this in the video it's so cool and they also sent over like a little eye crayon this video is not sponsored by the way at all there is makeup that i tried out in this video that i purchased myself as well it's just kind of a big mix of some new stuff i haven't tried yet and then i also got a package from a babe lash which i am so excited that they sent this over this is their essential eye serum so their lash growth serum which i have been wanting to try this for forever i've heard nothing but amazing things about this one and obviously today was my first time trying it out so i can't really tell you a whole lot about it but you will see me apply it as well as a bajillion other products so i am going to do a voiceover for the rest of this video just because if i were to like sit here and talk through and apply like almost 30 products we'd probably be here for like two hours and nobody has time for that so i'm just going to voice over the rest of the video give you guys a rundown this is obviously the finished look which i'm loving it this lip color I'm kind of living for and I sort of did more of like a simple eye but then these lashes there's two different mascaras on my eyes right now and they're good there are definitely a couple fail products like pretty hardcore fails so you have that to look forward to as well so I'm very excited to try all this stuff out with you guys I haven't just like played with makeup on camera in what feels like forever so if y'all want to see me kind of get ready my hair is like still wet I just got out of the shower so I'm like mostly ready but the hair situation is not quite figured out but if y'all want to get ready with me and play with a bunch of new makeup then just keep watching and of course y'all know per usual every single thing that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below along with the babe lash the alley oop the ipsy every single product that I purchased myself just everything is it's always in the description box so definitely check there and let's get started all right guys let's get into this of course i had to start with my babe lash serum like i said i'm probably not gonna be able to tell you much about this obviously in this video but i have been using it really consistently and i'm super excited to see how the results go so i will keep you posted and then i figured i would just throw on this wander beauty lip treatment just like while i'm doing the rest of my makeup it felt so so good on the lips as you can tell it doesn't have any scent or flavor or anything but it's it's really really nice as is this moisturizer it's super super liquidy that was one thing I was surprised about like it's almost watery but I've been using this every single day since I filmed this video and I've had no like negative skin reactions or anything I'm loving it this glow oil on the other hand I have been using it pretty frequently you can't really like see it after I do my makeup I was kind of hoping it would give me like a base glow and I didn't really notice a whole lot of that but I mean it feels really nice on the skin same with this hydrating primer it's like a moisturizing primer so I, I kind of just put it in like my pores area just to kind of like fill it in and again I don't know it's a huge difference but it is definitely moisturizing I didn't have a foundation to try out or anything so I just did that off camera I'm so excited about this alley-oop stack it's in the shade sassy pants I had way too much fun with it because it has the blush the bronzer and the highlighter all in this really fun little like stack it's so fun to just play with and I do have a coupon code of course it'll be linked down below for y'all to save some money on anything on alley-oops website not just this product but I love using cream products they're so much fun and they give you such a nice base to your foundation so I bronze up all the normal places with my stippling brush and then I didn't realize that the blush was gonna be quite this pigmented that's kind of the fun of these first impressions but it is a stunning color I just kind of spread it out I literally just hit my brush in like once and it was enough for both cheeks and then I just used my finger to apply the highlighter and it is so pretty I love the formula I love the pigmentation this stack is so fun and it's just like a one-stop shop for all your cream products on your face I love it 
This brush, I'm, it's a weird shape kind of. I've been using it for powder and I'm not exactly sure how I feel about like the shape of it, but it's nice and dense. I've been really liking it for powder. I didn't try a new powder, but I think I like that brush. <laughs> I think I like that brush. I'm still kind of playing with it. This eyebrow pencil, I love the formula and I actually have been using it a lot. However, I think it's just a little bit red. You can probably even tell here. It's just like a little bit more of a warm tone and I feel like my brow hairs and my hair in general is more of a cooler brown, but I, I really like the formula a lot. However, this Natasha Denona product, which I haven't tried a ton of Natasha Denona, but I think I expected a little bit more out of it. I also wasn't crazy about this brush. You'll kind of notice my reaction. It's just like too flimsy. Like it just, it wasn't packing on the product. It was just too floppy <laughs> to really like deposit a lot of color. So I, I ditched that brush and switched to this Luxie brush, but I, I do like the color of the highlighter in this palette. The blush honestly wasn't super pigmented at all. The highlighter is pretty, it's a little more subtle, but I do like the highlighter. The blush on the other hand, I need to play with a little bit more. I'm not obsessed with the pigmentation. So I switched to this palette, which I am obsessed with. And I noticed these two pink colors were almost identical, oddly enough. So I feel like this might even kind of be a dupe, but I decided to layer that blush over top to get a little bit more pigmentation. And I love this quality from Pixie. I've been using this every single day. I've also been liking these brushes, by the way. I will have, of course, all of them linked. As you can tell, they all kind of match. They're all in a set. I didn't have a new bronzer to try, so I'm just using any old bronzer, but I have been liking these brushes. They're a really nice quality, and I love the like studded kind of blue. I don't have a new eyeshadow palette to try out, so I just kind of played with some of the products I already had. I used this kind of, it's a blush technically, this is a blush quad, this Pixie quad, and I love it, but this is almost more of like a kind of bronzery kind of shade. It's a little bit more muted and brown. So I decided to use that in my crease as just like my transition color. And then I used this eyeliner. I know probably not a lot of people want to see you do your tight lines, so I skipped that part, but I liked that eyeliner a lot. It was really pigmented. And then I decided to use this Alley Oop eyeshadow stick crayon. It's such a pretty color, just a really nice, simple kind of like champagne shimmer shade. Just as kind of like my base. It is so creamy. I use it all over my lid, my inner corners, my brow bones, everywhere. It's just a really pretty, simple color. Like I feel like everyone would love this shade. And then I decided to grab this double-ended brush, which I actually ended up really liking as well, just to kind of like spread that product out a little bit. It's so nice that it's double-ended. I ended up using both sides of it. This, however, is a huge fail. As you can probably even tell, see how cracked it is around the edges? I couldn't even get like any product out. I literally had to like scrape it and I could kind of swatch it, but I literally just threw that in the trash. <laughs> it was garbage. I don't know if it was just old or what, but... Yeah, it was no good, so that's garbage. However, these Cover Effects Shimmer Veils, I have quite a few of these in my collection already. I love this color, by the way. It's kind of like a rose gold, really, really pretty. I tried using the brush on the one eye and then decided I kind of just liked spreading with my finger a little bit better, but I love that color, and I just decided to grab the highlighter from that quad, which as you can tell, I really like, and I just used that to set the Shimmer Veil since that's obviously like a little bit of a tacky, like moist formula. I used that to set all of the areas on my lid, my inner corners, and my brow bone. And then I just went back into that kind of like bronzery blush shade. As you can see, it's kind of pinky, but it's like kind of a neutrally brownish pink. I just touched up my crease color and I just dragged some underneath the lid just to kind of add a little definition on the lower lash line. And then this eyeliner, I've been needing a new eyeliner and I was excited about this, but this is an extremely stiff brush. I, I kind of didn't end up liking it that much. I mean, it's a really nice formula, it's super dark, but I didn't enjoy working with it very much at all. As you can see <laughs> from my facial reactions, it's just really stiff, kind of hard to work with, but it got the job done. These mascaras, I'm going to freak out about. This is obviously the Anastasia Lash Brag. This looked amazing. This made my lashes so long and so separated. I, I You'll probably see my reaction. I'm like, dang, <laughs> it's so good. And then this Uoma mascara, which I'm not really familiar with this brand, but now I'm kind of obsessed. And maybe it's just these two layered together, but do you see that? They look so good. I'm obsessed with this combo. I ended up just using that for my lower lashes too, which it was fine. I, I wouldn't say it's like the best brush for your lower lashes, but I love it. 
Moving on to the lips, this is a new NYX lip liner that I'm trying out and I really like it. It's just a really simple kind of like neutral shade. Literally would go with any lip color. And I always love these Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. I ended up loving this color. I hadn't even swatched it before. These always smell really good too, <laughs> by the way. But I love this lip color. It's just like a your lips but better kind of shade. So, so, so pretty. And they really do stay all day. And then I ended up just using the slanted side of that double-ended brush just to put some black shadow just to set my liner. Alrighty guys, this is the final look. I just threw my wet hair up in a bun just to get it out of the way. And this is the look. I am actually kind of loving it. Obviously, there are a couple of fails in the video. I'm going to keep you guys up to date on Babe Lash. I'll put on my Instagram stories and probably like some vlogs and stuff how my lashes come along. I mean, they look amazing today, mostly because of the mascaras, but I'm definitely going to keep you guys in the loop about this. I'm also so obsessed with the Alley product like this. You probably saw in the video how excited I was to just play with this. This is honestly just such a good time. And I love a cream products. I really tend to lean towards cream products more in the summertime and obviously we're starting to get closer to the warm weather so i know i'm gonna get a ton of use out of this but these shades are amazing a lot a lot of good finds in this video and some not so good but i had so much fun at just playing around with some makeup and i like this look it's like kind of simple but also kind of done up i feel like this is kind of like a perfect in between look for me like this is my vibe kind of like a simple eye with lashes a little liner and a lip even though no one can ever see my lip when i go out anymore because face masks but I am loving this look. So, of course, I will have everything, every single product that I mentioned linked down below for you guys to check out. I had so much fun playing with all this. This is going to take me forever to link all these products because there's so many. I don't think I've ever had, like, this many first impressions in one video. Like, I don't usually have this much makeup to try out all at once. I'm usually, like, playing with it as I get it. So, I'm really glad I was able to do, like, basically a full face of first impressions. It was really fun. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you would, like to subscribe. We'd love to have you. We have so much fun here. And until next time, I will see y'all in our next video. Bye, guys.